Okay, welcome to today's conversion corner. I'm going to go over my tank busters, my ore poise, um, all of which are conversions of one sort or another, um, with the exception of four of these units. And if you uh, saw my model show studio army review for these, um, you'll know these are from the Cromlick series. And so we'll go ahead and remove these because these were not actually conversions. They were bought as is from a kit and painted. All the remaining uh, tank busters here for a total of 10 are all conversions. None of these, um, I don't know that any of them are actually stock. I think one is very close to being stock, but what I'll do is I'll stop here, pause here, and give you a list of uh, the types of materials that I use to make these. Now, some of them you might not be able to find because you won't have, or you won't have on hand, so you have to find something that's similar. Uh, but again, it gives the idea to give you a concept of how I went about doing these conversions so you can come up with uh, something similar for your own tank busters and, or maybe some other unit you're, you're interested in doing. So be back in a sec and we'll, after we take a look at those parts that we'll need. Okay, we're back. Let's take a look at these models one at a time. Now, I'm going to start with the two simplest conversions here. And these are the tank hammers. Okay, so let's take a closer look at these. Now, the easiest one was an old, and I do mean old, Warhammer orc. All I did is remove his shield. Oops, sorry. So he's got a chopper. Shield is gone and replaced it with a piece of basically round styrene. That was a pipe from a pipe kit using a small, very thin piece of styrene tube. I created a uh, kind of a strap on the end of that that would house a, an artillery shell. An artillery shell is a I believe it's 155 millimeter around from a 132nd scale um, howitzer piece uh, armored uh, armored kit. I forget which uh, vehicle it is, but it's a modern uh, uh, artillery tank that I made when I was a kid. So this made a complete sense to me, uh, seeing as that I'd have an armed shell and make that a tank hammer, much like the uh, the ones that actually use a rocket at the end of a stick like that. I decided to use an artillery shell. So very, very simple conversion. You might even have some of these pieces laying around, uh, either old artillery shells or you can use a rocket. Uh, or as I did here in this second one, I took a big chapa and cut it down and replaced the top again with a thin styrene ring from a styrene tube and fit in it a small, I want to say this is a 50 kg bomb from a, a die bomber kit that I, or a bomber kit I had from when I was growing up. And I, of course I saved pieces like crazy. So so there's a tank hammer. Looks kind of orky because it is as a foundation a, a big, big chopper. And then he's the one carrying the uh, tank bust of mine. So, which does come stock. Now you'll notice his arm is a little beefier. That's, that is a knob arm. Okay. But it's very hard to tell that unless you really hold it at the right angle. And really pay attention. If you're dealing with an orc model, you really aren't going to pay that kind of attention. So, a nice simple conversion as well. Tank hammers are simple. And it took really no effort at all. Now, in... I think this is the only one that I think comes stock, or as close to stock as, as I have. This is a, a just extra orc boy parts that I had laying around, and added to him, you know, the torso and the, the helmet. And this actually is the the uh, rocket launcher that comes in the kit uh, for the orc boys, the orc boy squad. And that is the uh, backpack form as well, or the ammo strapped to his back. So I guess you really won't call this a conversion except that I did have to, oh what I did here is I just simply bought additional parts on eBay, extra torsos, extra legs and such. I think I had another 
few heads laying around. So uh, that's your, I guess, your standard. But <clears throat> beyond that, the rest are all rockets of one sort or another. Now I'll go to some of the more simplistic ones. This kind of looks a little different. Uh, again, this is a standard Warhammer orc from the 90s, or late 80s, early 90s, when Warhammer first came out. It was a starter set. Um, I used different uh, sizes of um, styrene tube, uh, nested one another, and the tip of one of the Defcopter rockets. You can use really any rocket or artillery shell up there, and use the sheet of plastic, plastic card down here on the, the base to give it kind of a blast plate. And so this almost looks like a mortar, a long one-handed one mortar, and that's his rocket launcher. Pretty simple. Uh, not going to claim it's elegant or anything like that. Now this one, since tank buses really enjoy their trophies, this one has a 148 scale tank wheel on it from, uh, I believe it's an STG-3. I could be wrong there because I have so many tank models in pieces from when I was a kid. Uh, it could be one of those. But in this case, I took a... Uh, I think it was a big shooter. I think is what it was. And again, put a plastic card blast plate and a rocket from a rocket launcher somewhere. I think it may have been. Yeah, you know, it's not the one that came with the actual Orc Boys kit, but it was an extra rocket laying around. And so now I put it onto him. And his rocket launcher looks a lot like the one that comes with the Orc Boys kit, but still, it's definitely different. And so, again, no two alike in the squad, uh, which is what I was going for. This one, very well. Let's take a couple sluggas and mount them up with rockets. So, this has got a rocket inserted, kind of like a Nerf dart would be in a, a Nerf gun. And this one's got some, a launching pad for three rockets on top. These are small rockets, and of course, if an orc believes it's as powerful as the larger rockets, it's going to be as powerful as the larger rockets. So, um, the conversions here really, again, not too substantial, but adding on the rocket from the uh, from a kit into the end of the barrel, or laid across the top. And I think these whoops, these are actually these three are really not rockets. These are actually mortar shells from. Uh, an 81 millimeter mortar in 180 or 135th scale uh, U.S. Army kit. So uh, you can find anything that would look or act like a rocket can fit on one of these real well. Now I start getting into here. I'll start with the knob. I wanted to make my knob for the tank buses a little bit more uh, identifiable as a tank buster, not just another knob with a power claw and happen to be carrying a rocket launcher. It's a slugger with another bat blast plate and left the bayonet on. Actually, I think I added that on. Yeah. And then put a small rocket on there. I uh, don't have a clue where some of these rockets came from, to be completely honest with you. Uh, collecting them from all various bits. Now, the key to making him a tank buster is on the back. Giving him some rear armor. <laughs> no pun intended there, sorry. Um, using tank treads from a Chimera kit or a Lehman Rust kit. Either one will work. And so now he's got his tank trophy that serves as a little bit of uh, armor to him. And I do have uh, knobbish type of armor. Uh, granted, they can't get a 4-up armor save in the Codex as a tank buster. But if I do ever pull him out as a separate knob which I rarely ever do, uh, he would be able to stand in as having four up armor. So, so very simple, quick conversion work uh, using spare parts. And that's really about it. So then, now we get to the more creative things. In this particular case, I decided to take a slugger and put some tubes, styrene tubes on it, just long enough to hold the rockets Kind of like a uh, German Nebelwerfer would have been. And I believe these are actually artillery shells from a 148th scale tank. And they're just glued in to make it look like they're rockets. 
And again, that's a good way to put uh, uh, a rocket a system onto an existing uh, slugger. Okay, so very simple conversion, but it definitely looks different from anything else you'll find in a work army. And then my two most complicated ones are right here. This little guy. I have a set of five artillery shell cases that still have the artillery shell in them. I think that's from a 148 scale model. Mounted together on with some L brackets and channel brackets or channel uh, styrene to give it a frame to strap onto his back. As well as if you see on his front he is this is a knob head where he has the what I will consider a git find a kind of bit on it. One of his eyes is a cybernetic. And so I've actually drilled out and put a wire running from that to the top of this piece of plastic. And then have three wires coming from it coming down into the base of what was a big chopper. So that's his control system, or fire mechanism. And that is his target acquisition system right there. And I just, for good measure, gave him a uh, offhand big shooter. It's not sorry, no, a shooter uh, weapon arm offhand, and put a loose grenade, a stick bomb in there. But that is my approach to a very almost scratch built type of approach to a uh, rocket launcher. And along a similar vein, I have this rocket launcher system. Three rocket tubes, uh, all styrene, with an artillery piece of some sort, shell in each. A uh, channel bracket, or is this an I- it's an I-beam that's bracing them together. There's a control box here with a little bit on there to make it look like it's got a uh, control mechanism. This is actually, these are rings from in a, a fitting, a valve fitting from a pipe kit. So it's just a railroad kit. But you can, any kind of small disc will work. And then that's just a, I forgot what size it is, one quarter by 188, 0.188 uh, styrene block as kind of the electro, electric box. Again, he has a single activating switch here launches it and this is his guidance system connected to his head you'll see the wires going from the controller to the pack and then back up to his head which has another range finding type of eyepiece so here he's controlling his target acquisition with his hand and firing it with the red wired hand button alright so those are the, my approaches oh yeah <laughs> down here the tubes actually go pretty long I've got a back plate here to kind of protect him from the back blast and these little pieces here are the ends of some of the uh, uh, Imperial Guard uh, missiles just cut down so they look like they fit real well so now I've got two rockets loaded in there now so those are my tank busters all various stages of or levels of conversion, some more complicated than others. Again, it doesn't need to be real fancy, just making it look as orky as possible to come up with something using bits and extra torsos, extra arms, extra heads you got laying around, or extra legs and torsos you can buy online, especially through eBay, to add to, and use up all of your extra bits laying around. So, this is how I put together my tank busters. I hope you got some ideas from it, hope you liked them. Uh, go ahead and comment below, share, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.